Okay, hi uh, folks, I'm James L. Allen. This is James L. Allen Country Cooking and Variety. This is my son, Jeremy L. Allen. He's a cook also. Uh, we'd like for you to tune in. This is our third show. We're on YouTube and we're getting ready to start Ustream and, and cable. We appreciate those of you that have tuned in so far and tell your neighbors and friends and family about us, okay? But uh, we're going to be filming every week and we're going to have some good cooks in. We're going to have some musicians, politicians, just everyday people, okay? But like I say, tune in to James L. Allen, Country Cooking and Variety. I grew up on a farm in Oklahoma. I started cooking at five on a wood cook stove. And it's been my passion ever since. I started at five and I'll be 66 next week. So I've been cooking for a while, okay? But like I say, once again, we're here at the VFW 4647 Post in Antelope, California. All you vets out there, if you're in the area, stop on by. Uh, we got $5 barbecue dinners, and you can't get a $5 barbecue dinner anywhere in town, okay? That's a fourth of a chicken. We're going to have tri-tip, hot links. We're keeping our prices down because you are vets, and we appreciate you tuning in to us. I've got a distinguished guest on today, Mr. John Simmons. He's going to tell you all about the clothing line, the organization, and I'm not going to run my mouth anymore. I'm going to turn everything over to John. Hi. Thank you, James. Um, again, my name is John Simmons, and first I want to give God the credit and glory and honor above everything else. Um, this clothing company was uh, basically started three months ago while I was in the hospital. Um, I had lived a life of uh, drug addiction and alcohol abuse and uh, ended up on my knees in my room four months ago, uh, praying for God to give me a new heart. And a week later, I had congestive heart failure, heart attack. And uh, so while I was in the hospital, God impressed it upon my heart that he was giving me a second chance. And he wanted me to take the rest of the time that I had left here on earth to, to get out the good news of his son's second coming. And uh, basically, that's what the uh, goal is of our organization. Um, I'm going to turn around really quick if I could. And this is our company scripture. And that's 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17, which talks about Jesus coming back and rapturing his church. Um, this is the message we, we want to get out to the masses. And I uh, really, really, I'm very blessed that James had me on his show today. And uh, I would uh, advise or recommend for everybody to take a look at our website at raptureadygear.com. Uh, should be up and running in the next week or two as far as for selling shirts. And uh, we will uh, be more than happy to set you guys up with some Rapture Ready gear. Thank you. God bless. Okay, John, I can relate to what you're saying. I mean, I've had 14 close calls with death. And God, like we were talking about, he's got a plan for all of us. He's got Amen. a master plan. Okay? Amen. And I've turned my life around, too. Okay, because I went through the same things, <laughs> I, the drugs, the whole bit. Okay. And uh, I went to sleep one day and I didn't wake up. Wow. And I woke up in the hospital with a doctor telling me I had a tumor in the front of my head. Wow. I had to wait five months for the surgery, longest five months of my life. Ever since that, I look at things I cherish each day. I cherish the, looking at the blades of grass, the leaves on the tree. Okay, Amen. so I know you know where I'm coming from. I do. Okay? I do, definitely. Well, I want to thank you, John, for being thank on. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And hey, you know you're welcome back anytime. Thank okay, you. And we'll Appreciate keep it. in touch. Okay? Take a hug. Okay. <laughs> God bless. Okay. Hi, once again, I'm Chef Natanya Richards from Simply Delicious Catering. And what we're going to make today is some Thai beef lettuce cups and spring rolls. So let's get started. Right now I have some rice noodles. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this in some hot water and let them soak. Okay? So come join me. Now I have the water that I had boiled, so it's nice and hot. Now I'm turning it off. And I'm going to let this cook for about, well actually not cook, just soften for about 10 minutes. And let's start with the beef. This is our skirt steak. And what we're going to do is we're going to slice this up. First, I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces. And 
And you can use skirt steak or flank steak. Either one is fine. You could also use chicken, shrimp. Be creative. You want to do nice small strips. It's great when you have a good butcher and can get a nice cut. And always make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Okay, now that this is done, we're gonna start with a marinade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a little bit of ginger paste. I love the smell of ginger. And some sambal. A little bit of heat is always nice. Not too much, but enough to give it a little kick. And a little sesame seed oil. And oyster sauce. And then we're gonna stir until this is all mixed in rather nicely. Can you see that? Okay, let's cover this up and put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for a while. So this looks like it's about done. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and drain it. So we're gonna cut up some green onions and I'm gonna take off these little tips here. We'll put them to the side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the onion lengthways. So actually I'm making like little sticks. Green onions is a vegetable that I tend to use a lot in my cooking. So you'll see it here and there in various recipes. Nice. Then let's cut up some cilantro. Now what I like to do is kind of make it a little tight by rolling it. And I'm giving it a rough chop. Beautiful. Okay, let's clean this up. And then we'll go ahead and go to our cucumber. Okay, so I have an English cucumber, which is a little bit different from the traditional cucumber. It's usually a lot longer, a little skinnier, and less seeds. So first, make sure we peel this. And let's cut off this end. There. And I'm gonna cut it in thirds, and then we're gonna do sticks. If you notice how I cut off the bottom, it gives me some balance to cut the rest of the cucumber. Okay, so what we have is everything that we need for our lettuce cups. And I'm just gonna chop some peanuts here. Now, with well, the peanuts I like to use is lightly salted. A lot of the sauces that we put in this and that's in the marinade already have salt in them. That looks nice. Okay, we're gonna clean this up and then we're going to start with our spring rolls. We're gonna start with some garlic. Yum, who doesn't love garlic, right? And we're gonna mince this. Not too fine. And turn on our wok. 
ready. Let's see if we hear the sizzle. Nice. I wish you could smell the garlic. It smells wonderful. I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger. Uh, a little bit more. And a little salt. And just before it finishes up, I'm gonna add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And a little soy sauce. And we're gonna turn this off and let it cool. Okay, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit <laughs> and we're gonna use a coleslaw mix. Now, every once in a while, I see that there's some big pieces in here. And what I like to do is just chop them up a little bit smaller. This way, it doesn't break through the wrapper. And that looks good. And what we're gonna add is some green onions. and mix this in. This way you can also see if there's any more of those large pieces you may wanna just chop up. Now what I'm gonna sprinkle in here is actually a little garlic powder. Just give it a nice dusting. A little ginger. Again, a nice little dusting. And a little black pepper. Now you want to just toss this so all the seasoning is just incorporated. Doesn't that look nice? I'm going to wash my hands and clean off this board and we're going to mix the meat in with our vegetables and get ready to wrap. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna add the meat to our vegetable mixture. And toss this. Make sure it's mixed thoroughly. And let's get ready to wrap. Now I had peeled apart a few of these lumpia wrappers or egg roll wrappers or spring roll wrappers. They're under many different names and there's many different brands. You have to find the one that you're comfortable with. I prefer the ones that are a little bit thicker. And a little bit more flexible to use. The peeling is the tricky part. I usually start at the corner and try my best not to rip it. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> And if you rip a little bit of it, no worries. A lot of it's easy to work around. Okay. And let's get started. So see, I'm putting it at an angle, diamond shape. And 
and I'm just grabbing a little pinch to put right here. Fold it, tuck and pull it back. And roll. Now I'm making an envelope. You see how I have a straight line here? And fold this in and I have another straight line. What I'm doing with my pointer fingers is I'm pushing down so that I can make sure that I have a nice tight roll. A little egg wash and there we go. Let's try this again. Setting it down here, tuck, roll to about halfway, fold it in. I want a straight line. You see how it looks like an envelope? So the amount we made in this bowl can wrap probably about close to probably 50 to 75 rolls. And we used about a half a pound, a pound and a half of ground, I don't even think that much, about a pound and a quarter of ground pork, one bag of the coleslaw, green onions, and you get so much out of this. Most wrappers come in shells in the amount of between 20 and 25. Okay, so now we have this ready. We'll finish the rest later. I'll cover this up so we won't let it get dry. Okay, now we're gonna add our meat to some hot oil. And what I'm going to add is a little bit of lemongrass. And that should just cook for about a minute or so. And while that is cooking, we're going to take some of this. And these are the rice noodles. And we're just going to chop them up. Into small pieces. And that should be good. And let's put that in here. beautiful butter lettuce. Let's set that out. And first we're going to put a little bit of the rice noodles in. Now this is the fun part. Let's try some bean sprouts. How about the 
cucumber. Green onion. Now I think we're ready for the wrappers. Let's put a few of these in. Now what I'm looking for to see is slightly golden brown. Well, I hope you enjoyed this Thai beef lettuce cups. And I know there's a lot of prepping involved, but it's a great way to get the family involved in cooking too. If you need to reach me, remember, contact me at Simply Delicious Catering. You can reach me on Facebook, Simply Delicious Catering, Chef Natanya Richards. Or you can contact me by email at one, that's the number one, Simply Delicious Catering at gmail.com. And you can reach me at my phone number, 916-519-6262. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, keep making it simply delicious and stay hungry, my friends. Okay, uh, this is James L. Allen. We're at James L. Allen Country Cooking and Variety. I've got a friend of mine that's a photographer in the area that's known, Michael Majestic. Michael's going to tell you how long he's been in the photography business, okay? And he's going to tell you a little bit about Michael, okay? Michael? Well, I've been doing it for probably 30 years, started in 1979, and uh, been photographing all over uh, Northern California, doing uh, photography of landscapes and seniors and families. And, commercial work and glamour stuff like that. And basically my job is to take people and make them look as great as they can. Okay, you do. I've got to, if you go to my Facebook, James Allen, Sacramento, California, you can see some of Michael's work on there. We're gonna be posting more, okay? He's good, folks, okay? So check him out. So how long have you been in the Sacramento area? I knew you were in the military. I saw the pictures of you when you were in the military. Well, I've been in the Sacramento area most of my life. Are you originally from here? Uh, well, when I was a kid, I lived in the Bay Area, and then, okay. then in 1961, my family moved up here, and uh, okay. I stayed down in then the off South and on, ever, si ever since then, I've been here. So. Okay. Well, I was in San Jose for years. That's where I went to college, and I came from Oklahoma out to there. So, yeah, no, I was, uh, we moved up here in 61, and then when I joined the military in 74, I left. And Where were you stationed? Where did you go? Did you go overseas? Well, I went to, uh, originally I went to Fort Ord in Monterey. I know where Fort Ord is. For yeah. basic training, and then I went to Fort Gordon, Georgia, to military police school, and then okay. and did that for three years back at Fort Ord again, and then got out. They just closed Fort Ord down not that well, long Well, yeah, ago. then in 1977, I moved up to Sacramento, and joined the National Guard and okay. got to go visit the big sandbox in Saudi Arabia for Desert Storm. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, did that and then, uh, and then in 2003, you? then I went to, to Missouri for a year and then they said, uh, you got a bad back and uh, you got to retire. Okay. What so got now you I'm retired. So now I'm retired. To begin with? 
Well, I did that uh, when I was in high school. We won't talk about how long ago that was. Okay. In the mid-60s, I was in high school. And, well, uh, I was too. I'll be 66 next week. Well, that's when I started high school. Okay. And, uh, you know, you have to take an elective in high school, and so uh -huh. I said, I'll take photography. So I took it as a freshman, and, uh, and then my sophomore, junior, and senior years, I... Uh, was the assistant to the, the photography teacher and helping teach the other kids. Okay. And then I went off to college and somebody said, hey, you can make, you could charge people to do this. To and I go, yeah, yeah, that. nobody will pay me for this. And people did. Okay, okay. And then in 1979, I got my business license here in Sacramento and been having one ever since. Okay, now I met you through Robin Meltzer. Right. She puts on the fashion show. She, you know, we did the shoot out at Tommy T's with, that you did the right. pictures on. I like your work. Oh, okay. That's good. Well, I try. And, uh, <laughs> I tell, I'm telling people about you, you know, and we'll keep running it on my Facebook. Okay, right. and I'll mention, I want to have you down on the radio show, too. I got right. a million listeners there. Okay, well, that's great. And we're going local FM at the end of this month. We're, huh? we're cable FM now. We're on the Internet, and we're on channels 17 and 18 on Comcast, on the well, Rosetown Board. But uh, at the end of this month, you can just pull us up on your car radio, your steering. You don't have to have a mobile listening device or a computer, okay? <laughs> right. But uh, tell me about Desert Storm. Tell me about being over there. Tell me about your experience. Oh, uh, basically, my National Guard unit that was here in Sacramento uh -huh. got activated, and we went to, to the Bay Area for training and then went to, to Desert Storm to... Uh, the Saudi Air Force Base over there and uh, basically performed law enforcement, you know, just, just like a police officer here. Yeah, we, MPs? Yeah, we did that, um, did highway patrol thing up and down the highways. And, okay. And I was in a, a supervisor basically, and so I. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I coordinated things like that. And, okay. And okay. That's mainly what I did in the Army, was coordinating law enforcement capabilities and stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Well, I can say I've seen your work, Michael. I like it. You'll be doing more work for me. Oh, that's good. And that's I what can I say want. I've got, we're going to have some stars and names coming in. Okay, I've talked to Kevin Johnson. He's going to come out. Oh, Anthony Silver right. from Stockton. Now, I, you know you're welcome to be on my show anytime. Oh, that's good. And uh, <laughs> we're going to push your whole situation. I know you got a lot of customers out there, but we're going to get you some more, okay? Well, I, I'll take all the customers I can get. Okay, okay. I need well, more hey, customers. I appreciate you coming down. I got a barbecue dinner waiting on you in there. Oh, okay, that's and, great. And uh, we'll keep in touch. You know that's that. That's good. Okay, we're yeah. Facebook friends too. Oh. But hey, we're gonna wrap this up, and I appreciate you coming. I know uh, we missed out last Wednesday, but you're here today. That's okay, good. Now, yeah. Hey, I'm glad that you are. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, we're going to wrap this up, folks. I'm James L. Allen, and this is uh, James L. Allen Cooking and Variety. Uh, we're going to have some musical acts coming through. We'll have uh, politicians or just different people in the, na in the area. And I've got a few stars coming through. But hey, tune in to us. We're at YouTube, and we're coming to Ustream, and we're going to go cable. Most likely next week we'll start with the cable issue, okay? But tune in to us on YouTube, James L. Allen, Country Cooking and Variety. Same with Ustream, and that's where we're going to be. I'm trying to get 29, which try is one of the words I'm trying to eliminate <laughs> from my vocabulary, okay? It's not if, but when. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So I'm going to talk to Channel 29 this week and see if I can get 30 minutes on there, okay? But, hey, I appreciate you coming down, Michael. You bet. You okay. bet. Okay.